Hey, I'm Dirty Dan and welcome to Greasy Boy Customs. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about setting top dead center on your engine before you fire up your hot rod or classic car. We're going to be using a Ford 260 V8 from a 63 Fairlane that I've put in my Roadster. A lot of this information can transfer over to Chevrolet engines as well. We're going to go ahead and show you a couple tips and tricks and different ways to find top dead center on your engine safely and efficiently. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's make sure we know a couple of things. You need to know your firing order and you need to know the rotation of the rotor button. You can put the firing order in the correct order but actually run it backwards and this thing will backfire and pop and blow fireballs out the carburetor even. So we're going to go online and look hours up. Well, you can use a search engine like Google or you can use a shop manual or you can ask your old guy down the street that probably knows it off the top of his head and has it tattooed on his knuckles. Now that we know our firing order and the direction of rotation, we can begin. First, we're going to start by taking the number one spark plug out. On a Ford engine, number one is on the front passenger side. A quick way to tell this is by looking at the cylinder heads, and you'll see that the passenger side cylinder head on this engine actually sits a little bit further forward than the driver's side. That's usually a good indication in most older engines that that's going to be your number one. Let's go ahead and get that plug out and start rolling. Now that we have our valve cover removed, our number one spark plug has been removed, and our distributor cap has been removed so we can determine which way the rotor button is turning to make sure we are rotating the engine the correct direction. Now this one, the rotor button should be turning counterclockwise, so we're going to begin rolling the engine. And you can see it is turning counterclockwise. We are rolling the engine clockwise if you were looking at the front of it, so we're going the right direction. Take your thumb, your handy dandy trusty thumb and put it over the hole where the spark plug was. You're not going to hurt anything. Don't stick it in the hole. Put it over the top of the hole and begin to roll the engine over. Did you hear that? Try to blow our thumb off. We're going to take this piece of plastic line and slide it in there. I've put a piece of tape on the line so you can watch the progress and continue to roll the engine until the piston stops traveling upward, which is right there. If you look right there, you see that black mark? That's top dead center. And here's our timing tab mark. I'd say that was pretty close. The next method I'm going to show you is a method by bumping the starter to do the same thing. This can be done with an assistant turning the key or by yourself under the hood applying power to the starter. We're going to do just that. So you follow the same principles. You put your thumb over the spark plug hole and you bump the key. And you keep going until it blows your thumb off of the spark plug bore hole. Oh, there we go. Popped right off. Again, you're going to do the same thing you did on the last method and take your soft item, a uh, plastic line in this case, and you're going to roll your engine over by hand until it comes all the way up and check your marks. One final method to go over real quick, and that's rolling the engine over by hand and watching your intake and exhaust valves on number one open and close to determine top dead center. Again, this is cylinder one. Your exhaust valve lines up with your exhaust port. And this would make your intake valve. While you're rolling the engine over, I'm gonna put my fingers on here so you can watch what's happening. Now, right now, I've got my intake valve and exhaust valve. We're gonna start rolling it over. The intake valve is traveling down which means it's taking in. Now the intake valve is closing. And at that point, we should be getting compression. Again, at this point, you would stick in your soft piece here and roll it over until it reached the top the rest of the way. Regardless, you should be close to the mark on your balancer. All right, that's three different easy ways that you can find top dead center on your engine. Again, you don't always have to have the help of a friend. A lot of these you can do by yourself. And don't forget, you can't always trust that line on that balancer. Some balancers are actually two pieces, and the outside ring can turn over time, causing the mark to be in the wrong place. 
Next thing you know, you're throwing wrenches across the shop, the kids are crying, the wife's mad, everybody's upset. Take your time, think about what you're doing. Thanks for joining me. Hey, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some good information you can put to good use. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to hit me up at greasyboycustoms at gmail.com. Until next time, happy hot rodding.